that they hung from the bottom of his robe. So listen, when she pressed all the way through the crowd, she didn't get through it and say, Jesus, here I am. I've been sick for 12 years. She didn't get to do that. Jesus was kind of facing that way. And she pressed all the way through the crowd. And when she got through, she didn't get to go, Jesus, she didn't even get to touch him. When she got all the way through, she got right here. The crowd was so thick, kind of like they were pushing me, like crawling over me and not letting me get there. She kind of fell before she got to Jesus. But as she fell, she reached out as he was walking, and she just caught the hem of his garment. That's all she touched. She didn't touch his leg, didn't touch his foot, didn't touch his body, just the hem of his garment. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> now the Bible says that, now look, Jesus was walking along. People are touching him, now under, listen, they're touching him everywhere, trying to touch him and reach him, and Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And this woman falls and touches the hem of his garment. And as Jesus is walking and she falls down, touches the hem of his garment, he stops. Because the Bible says Jesus felt virtue leave his body when she touched him. And he froze for a second and he said to his disciples, who touched me? Who was it that just touched me? The disciples said, Jesus, everybody's touching you. What are you talking about? He said, oh no, somebody touched me. I felt virtue leave my body. He turned around and he said, come here. So come here. And he called the lady forward. He knew exactly who touched him. And he said, by your faith, you're made whole. Your condition is going to leave your body. Go forth in Jesus' name. So what I want to tell you is this. Everybody look at me. There's going to be times in your life. Where it's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be tough. Life is not always going to be easy. Kindergarten is not always going to be easy. First grade is not always going to be easy. Middle school is not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be easy. But see, there's one thing that I, I like to call this lady with the issue of blood. I call her a Jesus seeker. Everybody say Jesus seeker. Jesus. Everybody say it again. Jesus seeker. Jesus seeker. She was somebody that it didn't matter that there was a huge crowd of people that kept her from getting to Jesus. She was a Jesus seeker. So she pushed her way through everybody. She kept on and kept on and kept on. So listen, there's going to be times in your life where you're stressed out, but you've got to keep on pressing to Jesus. There's going to come times in your life when you don't want to come to children's church. You're like, oh, I'm too tired today. I don't feel like it. I want to stay in the bed. You've got to get to Jesus and press on through that. There's going to be times in your life where you feel like, oh, I've got so much anxiety. I, I, I don't know what to do. It's going to be tough, but you've got to press your way to Jesus. Everybody look at me. Everybody look at me. I'm almost done. Don't move. Don't move. There's going to be times when friends that you think are friends make fun of you and laugh at you, and it's going to be hard. But you've got to keep on pressing to Jesus. There's going to be times when a friend is mean to you, and you want to be mean back, but you've got to think about, I just got to get to Jesus. There's going to be times when a friend talks about you, or somebody that's not a friend talks about you, and your first reaction is to say something mean about them, but you've got to say, nope, I just got to get to Jesus. And it's hard to get to Jesus when people are being mean to you. It's hard to get to Jesus when people are talking about you. Sometimes it's hard to get to Jesus if mommy and daddy are fighting. Sometimes it's hard to get to Jesus if in your classroom, at school, it's not any fun and you feel like everybody doesn't like you and people are mean to you. If you can just get to Jesus, he can make everything okay. Everybody say okay. And she got to Jesus because she made up her mind, I'm going to be a Jesus seeker. I'm not going to let the crowd stop me from getting to Jesus. You have to decide in your life. People tell you you can't do something. People tell you you can't do that. You'll never do good. You'll never be successful. You've got to decide, I can get to Jesus. Everybody say, I can get to Jesus. All right, everybody stand up.